Hey boys, uh, Toilet Seat Pube here, or TSP for short, whatever you guys want to go with. I uh, hope you had a good time in Vegas. Uh, anyways, I just got back from the doctor. Uh, I had a little thing with my butthole going on, and so I'm there turned around. The doctor has to take a peek at it, uh, which is never fun, but he uh, he says he knows what the problem is. He just has to uh, numb it for a minute. I said, uh, okay, whatever. I'm facing the other way. All of a sudden, I hear and feel, num, 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 num. Bloody brilliant. Beers. Yeah, good, thanks. Bloody brilliant. Beers. Blowing the froth off. And welcome back to the Bloody Brilliant Beers podcast brought to you by Blue Bet. That's Cos, I'm to ask you the Bloody Brilliant Beers. We started out reviewing craft beers on Facebook and now we bring you the conversations that you'd more than likely hear from the front bar at your local. Happy Monday, Klutzy. Where are we, mate? Mate, Caxton Hotel, as always. It's yep. a great, glorious day in Queensland, it as is. it always is. It always is. Uh, this is our Blowing the Froth Off podcast where we hear from you guys, the frothy. So if you'd like to get in touch, give us a call and leave us a message on 0731033389 or... Alternatively, you can hit the link in Instagram and or TikTok by Fucking oath. Now, TSP, we might need to find out who your doctor is because yep. it sounds like you get a lot of pleasure every time you yeah, go to the I doctor. Yeah, I might need a referral. Yeah, I, I definitely need a referral to check out my rectum. <laughs> She's fucked. She is and if fucked. someone can go num, num, num on it, that'd be yeah, lovely. That's a win-win for everyone. Yeah. TSP, I quite like the short, the, what, yep. what do you call that? Not shortening, but like a... Abbreviation is that the yeah, right word? Yeah, abbreviation. TSP. I was going to say an acronym, but that's definitely not, not an, an acronym. acronym. No, no. Nah. We must give a bit of warning. Where it's late on Friday afternoon, we're recording this. We've just yep. come back from Sydney. Yep. Bit of a weird and wonderful. It wasn't even the weekend. It was Wednesday to Friday, basically, yep. wasn't it? But uh, all hell's broken loose. We'll probably cover Friday, it Arvo. Yeah. They always say, "Don't." I think today we can liken it to being in the trade industry. Yep. They always say you shouldn't try and do any work after, or any digging or anything like that after 12 p.m. on a Friday. Yeah, okay. Because that when shit, that's when shit goes wrong. Yeah, okay. So we shouldn't be recording this podcast. Yeah, essentially. So uh, well, we came back and we started doing some work after 12 p.m. on a Friday, and shit went belly up. So, yeah. Yeah. True. Um, it did. Yeah. Yeah. Shit went belly up. So yeah. here we are now. Here um, we are now. So look, is that good for what's to come? I don't know. Who knows? We could have an absolute shit show of a podcast. Yep. But that would basically be staying on track of what it yeah, is exactly. three days a week. You guys won't even know the difference. Exactly. Um, but yeah, we'll cover off on Wednesday what we got up to, but it was a bloody lovely couple of days. But yep. um, let's get into the first call, shall we? Yes. Bit of a sports topic, this one. There you go, lads. Uh, Dirty Bird here. Yeah, I was watching fucking Vegas and uh, watching fucking Joey Marnie do some fucking weird shit in the field. And uh, it got me thinking. One of the great yarns in school was, do you reckon anyone could ever give themselves a blowjob? Now, we know there's rumours and this and that, but you no know, one's going to be taught their body to uh, get to their uh, their lower decker. You know what I mean? The way Joey Manu can do his fucking body and arms and shit, I think we might have the first man on the planet give yourself a blowjob. Maybe rim job. I'm not ruling out a rim job. What do you think, boys? Ah, great day. I don't know if I'd want to give myself a rim job or blowjob. No, that, no, I don't think I want to give myself either. Um, I would like to... I actually started a little count there because the man started off with so many fuckings. Did he? Uh, that I thought I we were going to go on an absolute fucking journey. Rampage, yeah. But we got four. Yeah, okay. Um Now... I think the thing that impresses me the most with that call there is that we've somehow likened rugby league to fellatio skills. Yep, yep. and Marilyn Manson. And Marilyn Manson, yeah. So, um, look, Joey Manu, contortionist. Yeah, he did some unbelievable things in Vegas. He did. He's a slippery player. Is he slippery enough to go down on himself? I don't think so. Time will tell, though. Time will tell. He is going over to France, I believe, to play some rugby. Is he? Is he? Yeah, he's already signed Heck a couple did. of weeks ago. Oh, um, he'll be getting paid a shitload, I'm guessing. That's why I'm pretty sure they've got Marky Mark going to the Roosters as his replacement. Yeah, okay. And they're trying yeah. to get another union person. So, yeah. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Quite ironic that uh, league's going after union players when union's such a shit sport, apparently. <laughs> so, um, 
Anyway, that's besides the point. Maybe when Manu is over in France, he will learn the way of the Frenchmen. Yep. Um, they seem to be into some weird shit over there. Yep. I some don't know. slippery shit. Yeah, exactly. Practice on a frog leg, go down on yourself. Yeah. I don't know. It's both slippery objects. He'd probably have quite a... Um Quite a good like uptake if he was to open up a Patreon or an OnlyFans or something. Yeah, with self fellatio. Yeah, there'd definitely be a market. There's a huge market for, especially if you look like him. Yeah, fucking oh, there's a huge market, a huge market for any type of weird shit. I, I really think this is the year that we start a feet OnlyFans. Yeah, okay. I really think it is. Yeah, and I'd like to see how it goes. Um, see what the uptake is. I'm not going to put my face in any of it. Yeah, why would you? Definitely not. Because this carpet and the cacti would be a good backdrop, though. Oh, it would be. But I'd just like to see what sort of people are out there that would get us to do shit with our feet. Yeah, probably some pretty twisted ones. Yeah, fucking nice. Well, we could do that. We could go get, what are they called? Pedicures, not for your fingers, but for your toes. Yeah, pedicures. pedicures. Get prep for it. Shave your feet. I need to go to a um, podiatrist to get this fucking thing cut off my foot first. Yeah, okay. But uh, that also might add to it. Maybe. Yeah, maybe um, people are into that. Yeah, people are into... Non aesthetic. We were talking about this the other day when I think it was off the podcast when we were, it was because we were going through airport security to get to Sydney. Yeah. And in America, they're so strict. You have to like oh, take your were. jumpers off, take your shoes off. And Clutzy was like, I just take my fucking thongs off. Yeah, I just take my thongs off going through airport security. <laughs> what could he possibly What the fuck could I hide in my thongs? <laughs> what could he be concealing? Do you reckon someone's. Do you, <laughs> do you reckon someone's gone through airport security wearing pluggers that have the, um, the bottle cap opener on it? And yeah. Just, maybe. Absolutely. That was opened it. up yeah. on someone. Maybe someone had a bomb under the arch of their f- heel. Yeah, possibly. Well, those dancers, man, the arches in their heels. Yeah, you can hide in the in foot. There. Sorry, yeah, you can hide anything. Um, maybe the Americans are onto something. Yeah, maybe they are. Also, like my thongs are so close to being worn through. Are they? Yeah, they're big fucking thongs. You got yeah. big feet. Like, yeah. you could roll a boat with them just about. Yeah, I think so. Um, anyway, not for Alcatraz though. No, absolutely hey, not. Drown. Let's move on. Yeah, go, fellas. He's going. Good, Good ball. ball. How are you? Oh yeah, doing all right. Myself for a Friday. This is a scat thought. Just walking up to feed me mate's cat up the road. And- Beautiful starry night here in the northwest of New South Wales and looked up and saw a plane flying and thought, I couldn't tell the plane had headlights on or not. Do you know if pilots need to have headlights on to fly a plane? I mean, they don't have to worry about looking at anything, do they? Just a thought. Anyway, hey, Roo. Good That's point. so funny. I don't think planes do have headlights. No, do I don't think they got... Fucking lights emergency on lights on the wings, but I'm pretty sure it's just an illuminated cabin. Yeah, well, like as you said, you don't. There's nothing really to hit up there, is there? No, Apart there's not. Other planes, but you yeah. see them just because of the lights on their wings. Yeah, exactly. So I'm pretty sure they just tell you, like, go at this trajectory at this speed. At yeah, and then then this the, altitude, and you'll be fucking sweet. And then eventually, we'll tell you, oh, come down. Here's here, the runway, bro. bro. Yeah, the and runway's obviously lit up. Yeah, otherwise they probably wouldn't need lights. Yeah, otherwise they'd be absolutely fucked. But that would look bizarre if you had a plane with headlights. <laughs> and then imagine it's like a uh, a nice country plane where they have go pigging with it or something and then they've got all the spotties and shit on it. <laughs> yeah, they can put it on high beam. Yeah, put it on imagine high beam. high beam for a plane. Oh, you can probably see it from fucking Brisbane door. <laughs> like one of the like, fucking laser pointers. Yeah, <laughs> be so fucked. Plane just flying insane. over your house and it looks like the sun's rising. Imagine, yeah. Fuck, I wonder. Scat thought, Neil. I wonder how often when you're in a plane you go over or under another plane during the flight. Yeah. It's like if question. that happens. I remember standing up at uh, the Empire State Building and it was like night time or some shit. <laughs> Pretty sure it was on the Empire State when it was night time. And we were having a look and there's three major airports and obviously New York's busy as fuck. It was night time or some shit. Yeah, I don't know. Could have been daytime. Well, could have been fucking dusk. <laughs> but um, uh, anyway, yeah, we were airports. having a look, bro, and the amount of lights moving around that were planes and shit. I yeah. was like, oh my God. Wild, eh? So fucked. There's, there's, there's people out there who are like plain people. I, I can't remember if I told the story, but for those who don't know, I went to Bali last year. And oh really? Uh, yeah, we were sitting at this uh, beach club, and there was this light in the horizon. It's like dull, but it wasn't. 
didn't look like it was moving. Yeah. <clears throat> or was moving slowly like anyway. And I'm like, what the fuck is that thing? Like, I was looking at it for ages. And I'm like, what is that? And someone's girlfriend was like, uh, that's Doha 805. And I was like, that's what? So She's like, that's fun. the 805 flight, the left from Doha. And I was like, what? She put out her phone. She's been tracking it. That's like, so gets fun. Gets off on fucking tracking planes. And Sounds like our mate Fair. Yeah, literally. That's the other person I was going to say. Some, some people love that. Like they'd be able to point yeah. to their plane flying over and be like, oh, that's the fucking yeah. jet you, star. You know what like. I find funny about those sort of people, they hate like trains and shit. Yeah. Plane enthusiasts are not trains. friends with train enthusiasts. Which is weird. You think you'd, you'd be into both. Well, exactly. If if you like um, speedy transport or just yeah. fucking transport bulk in transport in general, exactly. You'd think you'd be an absolute fan of it. Yeah, like football and cricket. We like yeah. both of them. Fairy thinks that, um, you know, the fella from England. Yeah. yeah. Um, Francis. Francis, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Francis who the loves train trains. Guy. yeah. Thinks he's fucked because he likes trains. I'm like, can't you literally this request? Is our friend who, yeah, you literally request a photo of aeroplanes every time that someone goes to the, the airport, airport, and you get pissed off if they don't. Yeah, it's probably why he hasn't spoken to me. Yeah, in a while. we didn't send him any photos. Yeah, any of our recent. I tried trips. to uh, when we went over to the when we did the first Brisbane to Auckland leg, and um, it was the most half-assed attempt I've ever made at taking a photo of a plane. Nearly as good as your Shania Twain Street photo. Yeah, no, nothing will ever beat that. <laughs> Sorry about that, Simo. <laughs> um, but, yeah, um, headlights on planes don't exist. Yeah, well, as far as we know. <laughs> as far as we know, they yeah. could. Pilots, reach out. Yep. Let's move on. I I've got the right fucking call. Clutch, Darth, how are we? It's Good Liam the Scottish Long here. <laughs> oh, hello there, sir. Tremendous stuff, Bill. Tremendous stuff, Bill. Good to <laughs> good to hear. I'm excellent, thank you. <laughs> so just got a, a little uh, little story here for you. I thought you'd appreciate it with your adequately uh, adequately named um, podcast title. So each payday, I go down to uh, to the local supermarket here uh, or Bottolo, as you guys would would call it. Uh, Get some, uh, get the beer for the month in. Um, so anyway, went went, went down. Uh, was working from home that day, so went down when it was quite quiet. Eleven o'clock, filled up the the trolley with piss. Go to the cash desk. Little guy there, probably wee guy about eighteen, nineteen. First job, couldn't really give a fuck. Uh, anyway, so I, I tell him, look, there's eight crates of that. Just give him the one to scan through. Got chatting to the to, to the wee guy. Um, go to pay, look down and couldn't believe how cheap this was. Anyway, didn't say anything, just kind of thought, look, tap your card, let's go. Walked out, realised the guy had only put one crate through and not eight crates. So I paid, got 84.40 cans of beer for £10, probably about 20 Aussie dollars to you guys. Fuck. Um, so yeah, I was fucking buzzing for the rest of the day. That puts the question to, to you. What's the best thing you've got for free or benefited from something along those lines? Because it feels fucking great. Uh, you know, I'll be enjoying those beers knowing that they were free for the rest of the month. Love you guys and the work you're doing. Thank you for the call, Thank mate. You, sir. First Thank of all, you. that's a man that gets stuck into his work. If he's buying eight cartons a month. Yeah. That's, that's, that's fucking, two a week. That's great. That's effort. unbelievable areas. That's I love that. Sensational. Especially when they're fucking free. <coughs> fucking oath. That's going to save a bit. Yeah, fucking. Also, hope. twenty bucks for a carton. Yeah, that's a fucking steal. That's mate. um, that hurts to hear. It does hurt. That's to hear. so cheap. I haven't bought a carton in so long. I don't reckon. Yeah, no, I can't remember the last. I think maybe New Year's. Yeah, but probably. um, yeah. Look, I, I'm thinking there was one time that I got charged for something that was like fuck all, and I didn't realise. Yep. Until. I got home and was like, oh shit, like I didn't really get charged for it. Yeah. It was like food or something like that. And I got like 40 bucks worth of food for like so good. $2 or something. Yeah. Um, but there's like some occasions. Remember one day, like Caitlin and I had like an anniversary at Yoko or something and they'd forgotten to bring out our cocktails. Yeah. And they were like, oh fuck, like we'll bring them out now. We'll just wipe them off the yeah, off bang. the bill. Yeah. And we got like, I think we got two or three cocktails each, went to pay, and I was like, this is so cheap. They just wiped six cocktails oh, off the price. Get I was like, in. This is like $120. So more. good, bro. Like yeah. and that was just we were both so stoked. Yeah. Because I have gone into detail about how I fucked myself with anniversaries and birthdays yeah. around that time of year. 
So to have 120 bucks off a dinner was fucking sensational. Awesome. Yeah, drinks for free. How yeah, exactly. That? I basically ate for free. I would smash a cocktail right now. Yeah. I don't really feel like drinking, but like a nice margarita or something. Would I'm really oh. getting into, particularly with like the weather we've had, just having a nice tasting cocktail. Yeah. Um, but yeah, fuck. I don't really know. Like, I haven't really had too yeah, many I'm instances. To think it's, I'm the same. I don't know if I've gotten that lucky, especially recently. A mate of ours last year, um, Eden got a. They had these really cool old school um, corduroy Queensland Maroons hats. Yes. and he went to buy one, and they were like fifty bucks. Yeah, and the chick put it through as either five bucks or fifty cents. I'm pretty yeah. sure it was fifty, 50 cents. cents. Yeah, and he tried to tell her, and she's like, "Just tap." And yeah. Um, she was from another country, so I don't think understood what he was trying to get at. Yep. Uh, there's well, a bit of miscommunication. Free hat. But yeah, he ended up getting a fifty dollar hat for fifty cents. Yep. Unbelievable. Which is great. I got my bar, uh, my Bass Pro hat yep. for 10, ten bucks instead yep. of thirty five. Yep. That was that was not great. really user error, but same sort of stuff. No, that was just a man that had <laughs> stolen a hat. I think who's desperate for an extra hand of blackjack. But I actually, found out something about because. There was quite a bit of that sort of shit going on. What, people selling stuff? Yeah, that yeah, had yeah. been stolen. I saw a bloke from footy last weekend, and um, he was saying that when he was in Hawaii at the start of the year, there was blokes that um, – he was with his missus, and they went into Victoria's Secret. Yep. And these three blokes just walked in, grabbed a handful of shit each, walked and walked out. out. And apparently there's some rule where they won't prosecute you if it's under $800 worth of stuff. Oh, really? So that was the third time they'd hit it that day. Bang. And it was 1 p.m. Fucking hell. So you must think, like, they just probably go in and go, fuck it, what's the worst thing that's going to happen? I'll yeah. get this. They might get up me and take it off me, but I'm yeah. not going to have a criminal charge. Record, yeah. It's fucked. What would you have done if someone in the OYO casino had have offered you some Victoria's Secret underwear? Ten dollars. I just said, "Look at me, cunt." <laughs> I'm not fitting in there. Give it to me for free, and I'll put on a show. <laughs> also, cunt, he got asked again on the way down to Sydney if he wanted an extra fucking. Oh yeah, it was meal. great. I got. Um, <laughs> they're only doing biscuits, so I got two packs of biscuits. Yeah, so did I actually benefit off yeah, it as well. It was so good. That yeah, was good. I think uh, the people in front and behind also got two packets of biscuits. Lucky. It was great. Shout out to Rex Airlines. I'll be yep. flying with them. Yeah, that regularly. was good. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to them. Anyway, uh, let's move on. Uh, how we doing, boys? Good ball, how are you? Yeah, that's the go, yeah. Porcelain Painter here, aka Poop Picasso. Welcome back. Hope you guys had a bloody ripper time in Vegas. We certainly did. Bloody yes. jealous. Um, just a quick one, like, I don't know if you guys feel the same about this one, but um, I got up early this morning, ready to get in stuck into my work, uh, like the working class man I am. Respect. And before I left the house, uh, I had to do three shits. I don't know what it is about trying to leave the house and do a shit in your own bloody toilet but like i just got this like overwhelming sense of anxiety that i had to pump out everything in my body to feel more comfortable <laughs> to start the day but yeah my legs are like now dead asleep um anyway i just wanted to have a quick shout out to all those working class boys that are struggling out there i had a bit of experience with needing a change um i was in a workplace that's quite toxic um so yeah i made a change quit my job found another one it's so much better. You feel better when you go to a place where you get stuck in your work and you don't feel so crap about it. So if you boys need a change, make a change yourself. You'll feel better for it. Anyway, uh, dream big, fart loud, chase and cheese, give them fucking apes. Yo, hooroo. Hooroo, bro. <laughs> fucking oh, Couldn't agree more. Um, on the first topic there with the pooing, I, I used to love to just shit at work. Because it was yeah. a good good way to start the day. I do, but, however, love getting it done before leaving the house yeah, as well. Yeah, now I try and get it done before I leave the house. I think it depends on where you're going. Like, yeah. when I, I've covered it off a number of times on this podcast about how I used to love shitting in the office because it was a bidet. Yeah. So I wouldn't bother at home. But, like, now, we go if we go to the gym in the morning, I'm very conscious of needing to shit mid-session. Yep. I get up early just so I can have enough time to figure out if I need to shit or not. Yep. Because quite often yeah, it's a yes. Try and back one out, and yeah. if you don't have enough time, you're absolutely fucked. Yeah, but yeah, that I hate that like impending sense of doom. Sometimes yeah. you get where it's like you know you got to. Oh my god! If I don't shit, like this is going to be the worst day of my life. The worst is when you do shit or like half a shit, but you know it's not fully out of you, and you're like, uh, yeah. like. 
that happens to me before the gym, right? I'm on the toilet. I'm like, oh, this is not satisfying. And I know I'm yeah. going to have to go within the next 45 minutes of boxing 101 with Dimitri. Yeah, exactly. You know? Yeah, fucking, I, I, I do know. Um, what percentage of sessions do you reckon you and I have shit in the gym that we've been there? I pretty much shit every time I go. Yeah, I was going to say the same thing. It was 80? only the first couple. I've spoken about this before, where once you become familiar with a place and you've shut there once, you will never not shit there. Yeah, exactly. Like, Especially if you're having a John Wayne coffee. Yeah. yeah. But you walk in and your body's just familiar with its surroundings and it's like, <laughs> gets this nice sense of calm calmness that's the best way to look at it we're like okay everything's gonna be all right i can let rip here yeah fucking nice especially if you know there's like good toilet paper yeah all that sort of stuff yeah so yeah i reckon i'm i'm a very regular shitter there now yeah always in the mornings in the arvos no yeah but the so. mornings yeah me too fucking Get it over and done with. yeah so Oh, well, someone's got to do it. Exactly right. Let's. Uh, um, and then sorry. just on the other topic as well. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree completely. If you're in a shit situation, there's no point. Now, not trying to sound harsh or anything, but there's no point fucking complaining about it. Um, the best thing you will ever do is change. Do something about it. When people say that um, a change of scenery, a change of workplace, change of job is as good as a holiday, they're not fucking lying. Sometimes you have you like a even, new lease on life. Sometimes don't you don't even realise either. Like I. Before my lo- I loved my last job, the job before that, not so much. And I didn't even yep. realise how much I didn't like it until I started my new job. And I was yep. like, oh, this is what it feels like to not want to stay in bed every morning. Yeah, exactly. Like, this is actually yeah. great. It's, like, it's fucking insane, hey, like... I was so nervous about leaving that job to go to yeah. my last one. I and remember. When I did it, I was like, oh my, like after three months, I was like, why the fuck did I even consider? Yeah. This it's like, why didn't I do this sooner? Yeah, literally. That's probably the biggest one you get is, why didn't I do this sooner? sooner? I remember when I was doing my sales job, I literally some mornings would just sit there and just go, fuck this, and yeah. just call in. I wasn't even sick. I'd just yeah. call in sick. And I'd never, ever, ever done that before because all my previous jobs I enjoyed rocking up to. Yep. And I was like, if I'm not there, like it's letting someone else down. But with that one, I was like, fuck this. And I didn't realise that it was just because I hated doing the sales aspect of it. That's it. Um, Who would have thought that selling Google AdWords is boring? Yeah. Um, (laughs) Not me. That's for sure. That sounds fucking riveting. Yeah, riveting shit. But no, a very good message there. Tommy and Cam from Alpha Blokes also preach that a lot, that – Particularly in the trade industry, if you're in a toxic workplace and you got blokes that are just shit cunts to work with, yeah. get the fuck out of there. Because there are so many other better places out there. Yeah. There's so many characters in that industry. It's not the best work at the best of times, but it is still enjoyable. And the way that you're going to make it the most enjoyable is if you go somewhere where there's good blokes because it distracts you from what you're doing. And um, you get some of the best fucking yarns out of it as well. And back yourself. If you do decide to do something new, fucking have a crack. The worst thing that's going to happen is you go do something else again. Yeah. Like you can stay in the same industry, go to a different industry, whatever. Just fucking... I think the biggest thing is a common misconception at the moment that you have to fucking... And it's been around for a long time that you get a job at like 18 or something or you start studying something and you got to fucking... See it out. See it out and do that. Fuck me. I can't remember the last time I stuck to something. I enjoy change, but um, you just got to keep fucking picking and choosing until you find something you like. Exactly and right. You'll, kn- you'll know it once you do find 100% that. 100% you will. But um, yeah, fucking great work. Absolutely. Let's uh, move on. Hey, Klutz and Dars. Um, Bay Area native here. So happy that you guys visited San Francisco and saw what it is like up there. Um, but I did just hear you shit on the good name of the bacon dogs. Uh, and you called them trash. And I just want to say, those are the best things to have on a night out. Like, literally, fuck, like... Even if they speak Spanish, that shit hits at, like, 2 in the morning. Fucking so good. You have to try one next time you're back over there. Um, yeah, stay out of yourselves. All right, see ya. The bacon dogs. Yeah, fuck. Look, I wanted to try one, but it was just... 
every time we went to get, or well, every time we were somewhere, we'd either already eaten or it was just so fucking overwhelming. I didn't or know how much I had to pay. Hung over. Yeah. So, um, we actually had a second call. I think it was from the Larrick and Locksmith. Can't remember exactly. Yeah. Who said the same thing? They're fucking grouse. I did have a street vendor hot dog in New York once. Yeah, good. Yeah, it was good. Yeah. It was good. But like, there's just a time and place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, like, fuck, they love hot dogs over there. Yeah, hot dogs. Which I, I do love hot dogs, I love hot dogs, love as, hot dogs well. as well. Yeah. I, I'd sort of want to start getting into my uh, hot having dog more work. hot dogs, watching footy. Yeah, Frank. At home, little Franks. That's the ones. How good was the hot dog at a Legion as well? Oh yeah, that was great. Yeah, the Aussie. Yeah, the Aussie dog. The Aussie dog. Of course, we got that. Yeah, of course we got it. Don't know why it was Aussie, but yeah, that's okay. That's all right. It was very random. Shout out to hot dogs. Shout out to that chick who sounded like she was in a Waymo as well. Yeah. I can't remember if we covered that off, but the self-driving cars. That is so fucked. fucked. That is so fucked. It's a massive head fuck. Yep. Uh, Google it if you don't know what we're talking about. Um, (coughs) But let us now move forward. Boys, it's the butt man here. How the fuck are you? Good, man. Good. How are you? Yeah. Not too bad, bull. That's the way, bull. Just sitting out on the back patio on the farm. Pondering thoughts, and a little thought that hit my head was: laughs are contagious, yawns are contagious. Imagine if farts were contagious. One of your mates drops his fucking guts in a room with fucking ten other people, and then everyone just has a fucking a case of the the gas he's made, and it's just fucking. I thought that'd be a crack up. Anyway, two in your cheeks, or two fingers in your cheeks, depending on how you like it. <laughs> Give them heaps. Don't share the sheets. I tell you what, they'd be in trouble if they shared a room with you. I was going to say, dude, if they shared a room with me, it would be one non-stop gas factory. Yeah, you did a fart this morning that s- sounded like, I don't even know what, like a t- stomach rumbling or something. Like, Which one was that? In the hotel room. Ah, uh, yeah, that was a good one. That was a good one. It was good. Uh, um, but... What I'm thinking is it could lead to some fun times. You oh, know that guess know. my fart game? Yeah, yeah, Imagine yeah, that, yeah. you're in a crowd of 30 and it goes, all right, I'm about to let one go. Everyone ready to guess? Guess my fart and then we'll go around and guess everyone else's. You know what would be fucked though is if you got stuck in like a fart circle. You know what I mean? Like, Yeah. You could just be in like infinite fart yeah. loop. Imagine going to the footy. Oh, Imagine, a, ho- imagine a hotel room, you and I after a night in Vegas. Be enough methane to fucking burn a hole in the ozone layer. Yeah, fuck. That could that could be the real cause of global warming is fart circles. You know, this morning, Klutzy got up to his shit, then I went in and did a shit straight after him, and then I had a shower. There was no, like, air vent in the place we were staying. Mm. Quite steamy. Ke- out of the bathroom, packed my bag, and then went back in to brush my teeth. And as I walked in, it was like being hit by a wall of fucking steaming hot poo. Yeah, it, it wasn't was brutal. Fun. It wasn't good. It was very brutal. Uh, it wasn't good. The great hotel. Great hotel, otherwise. Probably should have spent a bit more time there, but what can you do? It's all right. Fuck it. Um, last call. Let's get into it. Hey, lads. It's uh, the Hindley Street Hooligan here. G'day, Bull. How are um, you? I'm um, a bit upset at the moment. Um, I've left it a bit too late. Um, so, if anyone is selling a Friday night ticket to... NRL Magic Ground, um, please hit me up ASAP because I really want to go watch the Mighty Raiders. Um, yeah. Fucking Jeeps in your cheeks, give them heaps. And uh, also, um, anyone else fuck with Vegemite on toast, but then you put grated cheese over the top. Yeah. And then mm. put it in the mm-hmm. fucking oven for a bit. Mm-hmm. Pull that bitch back out. Put a bit of herb on top. Best fucking thing is better than sex. I don't really know because I haven't had sex before. Anyway, boys, stay here yourselves. I do love Vegemite on toast. Yeah, I love Vegemite right. in general. On yeah, I, I know you do. Didn't you say you had it back to back when you got... Yeah, home from yeah, America. So good. Actually, here's a little pro tip for anyone listening. Toasted Vegemite and cheese sandwich. Obviously, you're going... Butter, Vegemite, grated cheese. But mm. then you go butter on the outside of the bread as well. Mm. I, I do mine in the frying pan, not like a sandwich yep, press. Yep. What else I do? You sprinkle a bit of extra grated cheese on the top. Oh. So when you flip it, oh. it like melts oh. with the butter. 
It's almost like a cheese crust oh my God. on the outside of the sandwich. That's fucked Give that up. a go. That's so good. It was delightful. You don't want to have we the pan to, too hot for it, though. We used to call them small soldiers, like, like yeah. Vegemite soldiers. Yeah. Um, where you get them and you get the bread cut up into fours. Yeah. It was fucking awesome. Yeah. Oh, I um I haven't had it for a while. I had Vegemite sandwich when I got home today from Fuck, Sydney. I need to do Vegemite and cheese. Yeah. In the oven, uh, so unbelievable. Good. Yeah, yeah. One of the one of the great meals you can. You just have. never get sick of it, hey? Fuck ever. No. no, it's actually so good. Yeah. Um. Also, if you're keen on that ticket, hopefully someone can sort you out. But even if they don't, there's a big yeah. screen in the Caco car park that it's just. The whole magic round, there's just a fucking full car park watching the game on the big screen and you can yep. hear all the reactions from the stadium. Yep. So it's fucking I'm sick. Assuming, it's literally like you're there. I'm assuming if he sent that message that uh, tickets are sold out. Yeah. Which means we don't have any yet again. Oh. So we'll just be at the Caxton the whole Oh, time. no. It looks like I'm spending 50 hours at the Caxton yeah. now oh, for a, a shame, three or four day period. We've already started planning some stuff for magic round as well. Yep. Going to try and be on top of it this year. Yeah, talks of a, a human vending machine. Yeah, that would be very interesting. cool. Very, very interesting. Yeah. Um, but anyway, that's all we've got time for today. Thanks for tuning in. Um, I guess we'll see you Wednesday. Bye. Bye. Just got to do a Domino's ad. Yeah.